Let's talk eye candy. And I don't mean that kind of eye candy. Of course I am talking about Channel 5's new hour-long crime drama featuring Victoria Justice as the actor of our main protagonist and honestly, the main reason why I wanted to check this show out is also adapted from a novel by R.L. Stein, which actually, reading the blurb, sounds so superficial and shallow when compared to the show that I'm talking about. So in this show we are following Lindy who's working as like a call helpline person but spends the majority of her time as a hacker uh, searching for like missing people as she's coming to terms or trying to with the grief and losses of her life. So I'm going to mainly talk about the first couple of episodes and then a little bit about the finale just because I had originally planned this video to be a first couple of episodes first impressions sort of thing so most of them are notes made on that basis but then I pretty much didn't get time to film that video and I ended up seeing the whole of the first season so it's turned into a season one review uh, slash discussion if you like. So in the first episode we are introduced to this sort of app called Flirtual. She's trying to get over a guy and Sophia her friend is trying to get her back into the dating scene with the use of Flirtual. Which admittedly doesn't sound as deep as a, as a first episode plot basis for this kind of genre but it definitely helps to build up the issues that arise in the following episodes. So my thoughts, from just watching the first episodes in the beginning, I could definitely say it can be a graphic and uncomfortable show to watch in terms of the explicit violence that we tend to see, which I mean, I didn't mind, but just letting it be known. I did feel like too much happened in the first episode that it made me kind of detached as to what was actually happening. I just think it was too overwhelming, a bit too jam-packed for a pilot episode you know the acting can be a little bit so so but over the course of the episodes it did get better and strangely enough the, I think the best actor was the ex Nickelodeon kid Victoria Justice she was really really good in such such a different genre to what I'm used to obviously I've known her from um, Victorious which of course is the Nickelodeon kids show but she's she's definitely shown that she can do so much more than sing and dance and jump about like a child you know she she has some real acting potential but in saying that even some of her lines were a little bit cringy i found as the show went on it def it definitely had my heart racing but but things escalated really really quickly with seemingly little calls or explanation it's just this happened moving on to the next thing and i'm like whoa 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 let's take a minute here what, what was that what was the reason for that why did that escalate so quickly it just wasn't um, I don't know it, it wasn't like fleshed out enough for the reasoning the causes and therefore it kind of lowered the level of believability so that was kind of like the non spoilery part um, I guess but because this is a discussion I am going to be talking more in depth or trying to so I would suggest now if you haven't seen the show do not watch any further because I will be talking about the ending as well and I'm going to talk a little bit more in depth about characters and you know development and stuff like that and I don't want to ruin it for you if you're planning to watch it but you haven't so goodbye those of you that have not watched it <laughs> and hello again to those of you who have joined me so I think that Lindy and the cop Ben's relationship should have been shown in at least the first episode like the background to it and I think that would have given it more impact to myself as a viewer for when the betrayal happened and she found out that he was a cop and why all this was happening and I feel like I could have related not related necessarily but felt her pain more um, if we had seen that side of things earlier on and I think it would have also helped kind of strengthen the grief that she felt when obviously Ben got murdered I think I say I think a lot. I believe that if we was to see that relationship kind of spiral down in the first episode, okay, maybe it would have been a little bit cliche, but at least we would have had a bit of background knowledge, maybe sympathised a little bit more with Lindy as a character and therefore respect that element a lot more. So that's just a little bit there I'd like to say in terms of Ben and that whole shenanigan. <laughs> But in terms of characters, this is just again going to be based off of what I saw in the first few episodes. Um, obviously, for the majority of the cast, they did flesh out and have a stronger character development as the episodes went on. But this, from my notes, is what I wrote down near the beginning few episodes. So excuse me for the, the lack of description, shall we say. So we, of course, have our protagonist, Lindy, who is the stronger 
developed character, I believe. And I think that might have been done to give her more ca credibility as, as a character. But to be honest, I found it just made the others look more flat and one-dimensional in comparison with Lindy. And in a sense, at least for the first few episodes, brought the story down. I loved the drive that she showed in her, you know, hacker abilities because of the fact that she was hoping to track her sister down. She wanted to know what was happening. I just, I loved that element and it made her a likeable character, in my opinion. Just seeing such a strength there and resilience to kind of not be defeated and wanting to know what happened. On to some side characters now. This is for Sophia and Connor. So, I thought that Sophia was the, the cute best friend, she was adorable, trying to help where she could, where she couldn't, she was just an annoyance. But, I think Lindy, being such a serious character for the most part, needed that fun and bubbly person beside her to kind of lighten the load a little bit, kind of make things more at ease. And, I don't know, it was just nice to see that she had a, a normal friend, if that makes sense. But, aside from that, and that purpose, the only other purpose I saw her have in the show, very early on at least, obviously I enjoyed her character later on, but in the beginning all I saw was her being the purpose of this stalker person and this whole situation and getting Lindy into it. The amount of trouble she did, I honestly feel like Sophia started this to an extent and therefore I'll always have that little grudge niggling in the back of my mind towards her lovely a character as she is. Uh, for Connor, I didn't really like him and I still am feeling a little bit iffy about his character. He is obviously Sophia's other friend and I always thought that it would be that surprise revelation where Connor and Lindy become good friends as well and to, a set, to an extent that did happen but I didn't see too much for him. Obviously he helped certain events occur such as when he um, I met a guy through Flirtual and then that murder took place and then it was getting more and more personal and of course he was you know the the newspaper article and all that stuff but it could have been done with one of the other main characters it could have been done with Sophia for example I just think it was too many people and not enough reason for them to be there Ben the initial love interest and also the undercover cop and obviously I assumed we'd be seeing a lot more of him than we actually did he died way too early and I really wanted to know more about that relationship. Obviously we got a little bit of an inside knowledge um, when things unravelled about the real reason um, Lindy was welcomed so eagerly into the police force. When Lindy was uncovering the secrets of Tommy, who I'll talk about in a bit, Ben and the head of the department and that they were just using her. I liked the little flashbacks and her piecing that all together but I still would have liked more of Ben like physically being in the show and helping her along but obviously that couldn't happen I just thought it was so dramatic and shocking not dramatic in a bad way but like it really shocked me when he died I was like what I thought he was going to be a main character so George not too much to say about George but he is like the other hacker friend of Lindy he helps her in so many cases I loved his character he was so bubbly and fun and really helpful actually I do think he was a necessary uh, character because he was kind of getting the inside scoop for everything that Lindy needed when she couldn't do it herself or didn't have time to do it and I, just, I really liked his character and if there is another season I do hope that he'll still be in it and lastly I'm going to talk about Tommy in terms of characters so he is more of the newer character in terms of you know, Ben was the, the the other protagonist and now I feel like Tommy's the one stepping into uh, Ben's shoes in a way. Um, from the flashbacks that Lindy saw, it was him that was interested in trying to befriend her to get the information and Ben kind of defied him and did it himself. So you can see that Tommy does have some emotion, some, you know, feelings for Lindy. Have I been saying Linda? I feel like I've been saying Linda for some of them. Excuse me if I have, I mean Lindy. I don't know, his character irritated me at some times. Others, I just, I, I did like him, but just felt like <sighs> he wasn't the average police guy. He should have been, well, him and Ben both should have been more professional in the way they were approaching situations. Because, I mean, it was a serious case. There were many serious cases going on. And I just think they let too much... Too many of the times they were letting love overtake that or lust shall we say in some situations so yeah that that kind of again um 
dimmed down the believability of the show. So what else should I talk about? I think before I go on to my thoughts of the last episode, I'm just going to generally, Jen, I'm just going to generally talk about um, like music and stuff like that. So the music throughout the show was very atmospheric, and I do think it helped to really pack the punch of the kind of genre that we're watching, like you know, crime drama i feel like the music used was, was very fitting for it i also really enjoyed that the titles were like abbreviations like a text abbreviations like brb and yolo and stuff and it, it was pretty cool some of the time i didn't link it the names up to what the show was about like the plot of that particular episode but i still think it was fun to have that little that little quirk there and oftentimes i did find again when thinking about the kind of genre this is that it was too light-hearted for the drama that was like unfolding it was just like they completely dismissed things for example when they found Tessa's body and obviously Connor was freaked out of course he had every right to be freaked out and Tommy to an extent too but Tommy carried on he did what he needed to do but Connor was fine he seemed perfectly fine after that why didn't everybody need psychology treatment like seriously that was some dark shit going on and you're fine next minute like next scene oh la 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 just it wasn't as serious as i think a show like that needs to have been but then again maybe that's not what they were going for i don't know i don't write it so <laughs> i can't complain too much i suppose uh the other thing i really enjoyed was that there were so many twists when you think you're there there's like another one just waiting for you around the corner and that it just it gave that unpredictable feel like it was always something new happening and like you thought it was finished but no there's more <laughs> so on to the last episode what did you guys think i actually thought it was pretty good especially near the end when jake was getting all psychotic and then the twist where i can't remember her name but the sister isn't really dead <gasps> so jake being the killer was a great twist because oh my god if you can hear that my cats are going crazy Anyway, as I was saying, Jake being the killer was really cool because I actually ruled him out really early on. As soon as he was arrested and released, I was like, oh, okay, so obviously he hasn't. But it was it was a, it was a ploy. They did that on purpose. So I was like really shocked. I should have stuck with my gut instinct all along. <laughs> I should have stuck with my gut instinct all along and stick with Jake because, I mean, he thinking about it now he was super creepy like turning up at lindy's house like automatically knowing where she lives seeing her here seeing her there he was he was weird he really was weird so the story for why jake became uh, such a stalkery creepy murderer was actually quite touching but maybe a little too far-fetched i mean all of that sure it would mess with your brain but would it really turn you into like some sort of mass murderer maybe I don't know I've never been in that position but it could do I suppose <laughs> oh god it was so messed up when Jake made um, Lindy relive her sister's kidnapping by switching it and making it Sophia that was kidnapped and was gonna get gassed out that was horrible because she was going through flashbacks and it, oh, it must have been horrible because she saw like the sign that was there when her sister was getting kidnapped and all these different things she had to jump over the cars like she did when her sister was getting kidnapped it, it must have been a traumatizing and horrible experience but I don't know why he left her to do it because obviously she escaped you know it was easy enough for her to get out so I don't know maybe that was just the madman of him thinking oh you'll never escape I'll catch you as soon as as soon as you think you're safe I'll get you you know which I guess so happened to be the case that that just that whole scene just showed how messed up and twisted Jake is and that was a scary side because obviously okay it was creepy thinking about it now knowing that he was the murderer it was creepy but he was such a gentleman and just flipping that now and seeing his dark side was just really unsettling so pretty good show but obviously Lindy's sister technically hasn't been found yet I mean what's up with that eh? her being alive and all that so I definitely think it's a show that's going to have quite a few seasons and I think it can get dragged on quite a lot so I don't think I'm going to stay for the whole journey but I will say I'll probably check out season 2 if and when they decide to bring it out and hopefully I enjoy it and hopefully the sister being discovered will happen quickly because if it does drag out 
I will not be interested for such a long period of time. Um, but anyway, that is all for this review discussion. Do let me know your thoughts down below on eye candy. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you're excited for possible more seasons. I don't know. What do you think of the story? Just let me know and we can have a discussion. But for now, have a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, night time, whatever. And I shall speak to you in another video soon. Bye.